Okay, we're on Megillah, Perek, Aleph, Mishnah, Zion. Seventh Mishnah, the first chapter of Megillah. We're going to continue with our theme of the Ein Bains. There's no difference between this and that other than something really big, which is the difference. Ein Bain, Ella. There's no difference between this except for that. So Misha says, Ein Bain, Zav, Haroesh, Devriyot, Loroesh, Shalosh, Ella, Korban. There's no difference between Azav. Azav, let's go to Vayikra, Perek. Uh, Tetvav, chapter 15. Okay, it's when I, the, the, the Jewish people are told, Yisrael, alim, ish, ish zav mibsaro, zovo, tamehu. If a person is Zav Mibsaro, if he flows from his in issue, it has issue out of his flesh, he has some kind of emission. Okay, that's called a Zav. So the halacha is the following. It's really uh, somewhat complicated. We're trying to get this as clear as we can. If a person is, uh, is sees w- one day, he sees this emission for one day. He's what's called Shomer Yom Keneged Yom. I'll actually write that down so you can see. Here we see Shomer Yom Keneged Yom. So if he sees one day, then he has to wait the next day. And if he is, if he's clean, then he goes to the mikvah at night. But if he's not clean, then he's what's called uh, that's called Ziva Gadola. If he sees two riot, if he sees two two riot, then he's called a Zav Gadol. He's a, and he's tame for seven days. Look back in the in the parsha. It says, okay, one second. He has all these halachot if he's tamei, okay? And then, uh, it's v'yom ha-shmini, kach lo torim. So on the eighth day, he has to make a korban. I mean, he has to wait for seven days. He's tamei. Here we go. V'chit ha when he becomes clean, v'safalo shivat yamim v'taharato. Okay, then he has to count seven days, and he has to v'chivet v'gada, wash his clothes, which means put them in the mikvah. V'rachat v'sarob ba-mayim, and he has to wash his clothes in the mikvah. And on the eighth day, he has to bring these korbanot. That's called korban ziva. So that's only though if he sees what's that? If he sees three riyot. So the mission says the following: En ben zavar riyot. If he sees two riyot, then he's tamei for the whole seven day thing. But if he's tamei for shalosh, three riyot, el la korban. He has to bring the korban. So the the bartender explains: Ben biyom echad. If he sees two riyot, ben biyom echad ben b'shteyamim mitzufim. Either two riyot, two emissions on one day, or two straight days. Okay. V'chein shalosh riyot, or three, bein b'yom echad, bein b'shlosha yamim r'tzufim, or even three, if it's one or three days. O shtayim b'yom echad, v'chad l'machar. Ela korban. There's no difference between the two and the three except korban. Why? Shazav are eshte riyot, eno ta'un korban. A zav who sees two emissions does not require to bring a korban. But a zav who sees three riyot, then he's a zav gadol, and he has to bring a korban. But if he's one, of, that's mishkav moshav. A zav is so tame that if if he touches something, of course that becomes tame. But if he sits on, let's say, I'm sitting on a chair, and if I sit on a chair, but I'm sitting on a cushion, and under that thing that I'm sitting on is something, that's called mishkav moshav. Okay, avatuma filo lo nagabo. Then he's an avatuma even if he doesn't touch that thing. So he's very tame even after two riyot. Usfirat shiva and counting. The seven days after his Zabziva stop, finishes. He has to count Shiva Nikim, seven clean days. That's the same if he saw two Riyot or if he saw three Riyot. The only difference, Ein Ben Zabaresh Daim, Shte Riyot, the difference between two or three, Ela Korban. The idea of having to bring a Korban. Next halacha. Totally different halacha. Ein Ben Mitzara Musgar, the Mitzara Muchlat, Ela Priya. Uprima. There's no difference between a mitzara musgar. So this is something called a, a mitzara. We know tzarat. Okay? Pasuk, vayikra, pasuk, yud gimel. So it's interesting. If a person, let's go back to the psukim. Let's go back to vayikra, yud gimel. So we, if you read the psukim carefully, we're not going to read them very carefully, but there's all these halachot of Adam, if he has, if he has these terrible things, okay? Okay? And the, and what happens is when he goes to the Kohen, okay? Da, 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 da. Sometimes the, the Kohen says he's tameh. It's a netek. Okay? But sometimes, if there are certain descriptions, ain Maria, whatever, whatever the skin, whatever, and the this the 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 sear the, shakor, the the hair is a certain way, the skin is a certain way. The coin will be masgiroto, meaning, you know, you want you know what? You go, you you uh you have to go into seclusion. We're gonna wait and see if you're actually tame or not. So sometimes, uh, when a, if a person sees this thing on his skin, the Kohen will say, oh, you're Tameh. Okay, right away, you're, you're a Tzav Mitzorah. But sometimes the Kohen will say, I don't know, you're not a Tameh for sure, but you have to do Hesger. Hes so Amisha says, 
the, the person who does the scare, he's also tame'e. Okay? What happens? Okay, again, you could do a seventh, you could do his gear, you could do it a second time as well. So the Mishnah says, there's no difference between a Mitzvah Musgar, remember Musgar, the person who's a Mitzvah, but he is, he is secluded, i.e., we don't know, he's a Lord, sort of in limbo. The Mitzvah Muchlat, to someone who's it's a Mitzvah, but Muchlat means definite, these are Tame. There's no difference between the two. Both of them are Tame. What's the difference? Ella Priya Uprima. What is Priya Uprima? So that's also based on another Pasuk in the Torah. If we look back to Pasuk Mem, okay, the, the person says, um, here we are, Vahat Sarua, Pasuk Mem Hey, Asher Bo Hanaga, a person who's really Tsarua, Begadav Yu Prumim, his clothes shall be rent, Prumim, cut a car, you should like tear your clothes, Verosho Ye Parua, and his head shall go loose, he has to let his hair grow. And he shall cover his upper lip and cry unclean. I mean, he's tamay. He's so tamay that he has these external symbols of tum'ah. Okay? And he's, he's really, that's the tsarua asher bo hanega. So what's prumim? Unrent clothes. Parua? Unkempt hair. Let's go back to our Mishnah. That's priya uprima. So only the mitzvah, the mitzvah muchlat, he has to do these external symbols. He's also tamay. But the musgar, the person who is in seclusion and not definite, he could finish those two weeks and the coin goes, you know, I don't know, it never really got worse. So you're tame, but you don't have to do priya uprima. Let's look at the bartunura. Okay? El priya uprima, shitimu akoin the gamre. So the guy who's muchlad is tame. Okay? Rather, how the inyan shiluach betum'ah, but setting aside, zebes shamin. They're both the same. Okay? Both tame and tahor. Similarly, Another similarity between, between uh, the somebody who's once to be, yeah, you want to become Tahor, if you were Hezger, that you want to become Tahor, or Hechlet, if you were Muchlat, if you were definitely declared to be Tamei according to the Kohen, Tiglachat V'Tziporim. So how do you become Tahor? Tiglachat V'Tziporim. Okay, what's Tiglachat V'Tziporim? When the Nega becomes Nirpa, when you become healed, it says, Okay, one second. Okay, I'm sorry, excuse me. So, when a person wants to get out of becoming Tahor from Mukhlat, the coin says you're definitely Tame, you have to do Tiglachat, cut off your hair, but see Porim. And you have to, and you have to bring the Korban out of the birds. If we look in the Psukim, it says, this is the Torah, the Mitzorah, this is the Mukhlat, the definite Mitzorah. He comes to the Kohen and he has to take Shtei Tziporim Chayot. Two birds. These are the birds that the Mishnah is talking about. And he after the birds or the korban. We're not going to go into the whole thing. But he also has to do that kol cigaro yigaleach. He also has to shave all of his all of his hair. Okay, so that's the muchlat. So, but the musgar, okay, okay, yatsa musgar shetarato to lubiamin. But the musgar, the person who's just in seclusion, he never became definitely tame. That's only about days. Okay, he has to go. Even if he comes healed, he has to be musgar shivat yamin. But both of them have to go to the mikvah. They're equal vis a vis mikvah. Both of them have to go to the mikvah. So the Mishnah says, if you want to become Torah mitoch hesger, you have to just go to the mikvah. But a Torah mitoch hechleit has to do tiglach of tzipurim. Let's just read it again. Ein bein tahor mitoch hesger. With tahor mitoch hechleit, ela tiglach of tzipurim. There's no difference between someone who wants to become Torah out of hesger, out of seclusion, meaning not definitely a mitzorah, mitzorah. To someone who wants to become Tahur Mitoch Hechlet, meaning he was definitely declared Tzaruah, Ela Tiglachat Siparim, except for Tiglachat, the, the shaving of the hair, and Siparim, an offering of the Korbanot, of the birds, which a definite Tzaruah must do. All right, it seemed like a short Mishnah, but it was actually longer than we thought. What can you do? Anyway, we'll stop here. We'll dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harav Simcha Kalman. Have a great day.